This is Vision TV Insight. On today's program, Patterns of Peace, one woman's design for the Middle East. There's always been uh, people talking about their lives in quilts. There's always been politics in quilts. So I actually consider myself right in the tradition of quilting. I'm Sadia Zaman. Welcome to Vision TV Insight. Israelis and Palestinians are trapped in a seemingly endless cycle of retaliation. People around the world watch on grimly. For many, hopelessness abounds. But one Vancouver artist has found her own way out of the hopelessness. The Middle East Peace Quilt Project is the creation of a Vancouver fabric artist. The quilt depicts personal visions of peace between Jews and Palestinians. In the spring of 1987, my husband and I spent an afternoon in a Palestinian home in a refugee camp in Jordan. For hours, we were served a lavish feast by a quiet, doting older woman. When she learned that we were Jewish, her reaction was, I am not afraid of you. I was shocked and shaken. It had never occurred to me that being Jewish might create fear in someone, although it seemed very normal for me to be afraid of someone who was an Arab. And um, so Rhea made the square uh, for the quilt, but uh, she's recalling... My name is Sima Elizabeth Sheffrin, and I'm the artist coordinator of the Middle East Peace Quilt. So much of what we hear generally is about the, the hostility and the fighting and the antagonism and the deaths. And a lot of people don't realize that there's a very viable peace movement, uh, that there are Israelis and Palestinians who are working very hard for peace. I wanted to do something in Canada. Um, I wanted to do something that was in my field as an artist. And I thought a quilt would be a wonderful thing. And I didn't know if I would get a dozen people responding or hundreds or, you know, but I just thought I would try and, and see what happens. So I put out a, uh, an email saying, what's your vision of peace in the Middle East? And it just gradually grew. I set up a post office box and I would walk up to the post office every day and you know sometimes there'd be nothing, sometimes there'd be one square, sometimes there'd be a couple and you know and then one day I, I, I got this wonderful this big box in the mail and I opened it up and it was from a, um, a Jewish religious school uh, grades three to six in Virginia and it had 25 squares in that the children had made. They were all beautiful, they were really wonderful. Another neat thing about doing the quilt is that, that um, I really like working with people who don't think of themselves as artists. And, you know, so, so, so some of the squares are made by professional artists, some of them are made by quilters, but a lot of them are made by people who don't usually, you know, do this with their hands. People who don't usually do art, sometimes they're, it's a very direct route. They don't worry so much about how it looks. It's a direct route from their heart to what they, what they produce. So that's been very exciting to see as well. I hold out to you that we support the many, many Israelis and Palestinians who consider each other cousins, who want to work together in, in everybody's interest for a just and peaceful solution. When she called and said, would I be interested, because you, she knew I had a long background of peace work, I said, yes, I think I could try my hand at something, so I did. One memory kept coming back, and that was the bombing of Hiroshima. Um, it really was so shocking, and we'd worked so hard to have that not happen. And I began to think, how could I incorporate that idea into a square? And I remembered the Japanese parasol that I carried in many peace marches, and I thought maybe I, that could be a motif for the square. And so I had them come down as if they were in, like bombs, but they were anything but bombs. They carried a message of the 
old Negro spiritual. There's no hiding place down here. We are either we will live together or we'll perish together. People do this on many, many different levels. So for some people, a flower or a tree growing symbolizes peace. Some people did combinations of the Israeli and the Palestinian flag. I encouraged people to use many different media. So sometimes people would send in photographs. Um, there's one um, which is two men sitting having coffee together. And in the corners, you see they've put down their headgear and their weapons. And without those, you can't tell which is the Israeli, which is the Palestinian. They're identical. This is one of the squares that came in very early. And it's made by a woman in Burnaby. And um, the black thorns represent the Holocaust and the other hardships that the Jewish people have gone through. The gray thorns represent the struggles of the Palestinians, the situation of the Palestinians. And these evolve into birds of peace. And the two trees in the center are the two people rooted together. This is uh, the stop sign on the road to war. This is the, the road to war, and uh, people are sleeping in their tents. They're very isolated from each other. They're very far apart. We have the stop sign with a little guitar leaning on it, and people are sleeping very close together afterwards. People came up with these, just these wonderful metaphors all the time. The message of, from the, the squares of this quilt is a, is a very positive message and it shows the humanity in, in all of this mayhem. <laughs> and, and this is the, I think what people can take away is the fact that there is hope, we must never give up hope, and that something can be done and it has been proven by this quilt. And if you truly believe in something, then you can do something about it. And I just hope that the politicians would see this quilt and would also be sensitive to the message that it carries. In coming together here through this quilt, um, the threads that bind us um, are the threads of hope and peace um, for the future in spite of the continuing violence going on in the Middle East. Uh, Jews and Arabs, according to tradition, are children of Abraham. The quilt, it has love, peace, and life written in Hebrew and in Arabic. I think that speaks for itself. I very strongly believe that it's in everybody's interests to, to create a just peace for both the Israelis and the Palestinians. You know, every people needs a homeland, including the Israelis, including the Palestinians. And that I would like to see people working to support both sides towards a win-win situation because I believe that that's the only thing that's going to work ultimately.